Hi, I'm Dr. Meyer. I'm one of the physicians here at Carolina Conceptions, and I'm going to just talk to you a little bit about fro frozen embryos because you're looking at this because you have frozen embryos in our laboratory. Well, there's one of several reasons that you have frozen embryos with us. One is that you were successful in your fresh cycle, and now you're coming back to using uh, frozen embryos that have been stored for several years. One may be the unfortunate case where you were unsuccessful in your fresh cycle and you're going to use frozen embryos. The second one is that your embryos were biopsied um, in a fresh cycle and now we're going to put back uh, embryos in a thaw cycle. Or that your progesterone snuck up on you during your fresh cycle and we, we had to postpone doing your fresh cycle into a frozen cycle. Or maybe you experience some ovarian hyperstimulation and we ha ended up having to do a frozen cycle. So the the reason we're doing this tape is for you to look at this video and hopefully be better, have a better understanding of what the questions to ask your physician and also what questions to ask at your educational class. So you know the status of your embryos. The embryologist has informed you how many embryos you have. And embryos are frozen on day five, day six, and sometimes on day seven. One of the first questions uh, patients ask are, what are the most successful embryos to be transferred? Well, if the embryos have not been biopsied and we just have non-biopsied embryos, usually the day five embryos are a little bit more successful than the day six embryos, but not to a significant extent. So if we do have day five embryos, we do want to use those first. The next question usually comes up, well, how many embryos should I transfer? In most cases, this is based on, again, if the embryos have been biopsied, we usually recommend that you just transfer one embryo. If the embryos are not biopsied, it's often dependent on your age and how your stimulation has gone and also your history, and those are things to discuss with your physician. One of the things to know, though, that when, 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 when you do transfer two embryos, you always have that increased risk of twins. And with single embryos, we rarely have that. And pregnancy rates, although they are higher with double embryo transfers, you do run that risk of twins. In fact, uh, recent statistics in, from our lab showed that when we transferred one embryo, the pregnancy rates were 56%. When two embryos were transferred, the pregnancy rate was 73%. But in the one embryo group, there were no twins, while 43% of the dual embryo transfers resulted in twins. So the other question that comes up is what are the pregnancy rates in frozen embryo transfers? So I thought I'd just go over the most recent statistics that we have. The pregnancy rates in women under 35 were uh, 57 percent. They were actually a little bit higher in our women, 35 to 37, which your physician can talk to you about, but those were 73 percent. Women 38 to 40 pregnancy rates were 65 percent. And in our egg recipients, pregnancy rates were 72%. So you can see that fresh and frozen pregnancy rates are pretty similar. And that is something you do want to talk to your uh, physician about. Now, how do we get you ready for doing a frozen embryo transfer? Well, most of you are on birth control pills now. And if you're not on birth control pills, you should be on birth control pills before you actually meet with your physician or in the educational class. We try to schedule the educational class with uh, the nurses or the medical assistants on the same day following the consult with the physician. If you've talked to your physician over the phone and you have, you, you've made the arrangements on how many embryos you know you want to be transferred, then you just meet with the uh, medical assistant or nurse for the FET class. But you're on birth control pills now to suppress your ovaries, um, bring them back, let all the cysts resolve. Then what we usually do is a washout period, and then we prepare your uterus for the embryos. And Leanne, who does most of her frozen embryo transfer um, educational classes, will talk to you about the use of estrogen and progesterone. But the estrogen is to prepare your uterus. You, you get two weeks of estrogen, then we start the progesterone. And those directions will be specifically talked to in your educational class. So I'll leave that to uh, the time of your edu educational class or also the other part of this uh, educational video. Thank you. Hi, my name's Leanne. Uh, today we're going to talk about uh, what we do at the frozen embryo transfer class or FET class. 
So um, when you come in, we're going to basically been talking about three things. We're going to be talking about consents, we're going to be talking about your calendar, and we're going to be talking about some medications. Uh, now you want to make sure that before you come in for your baseline that you've had a saline ultrasound or an HSG within six months of that baseline. Uh, if you have not, just make sure that you have that done uh, while you're on your birth control pills. Now your birth control pills need to be taken two weeks before you come in for your baseline. Um, now, going back to the consents, um, we need both partners to come to class because we have consents that have to be signed before we can do the transfer. So it's very good if both uh, partners can come in to sign consents and come in for the class. Um, the second thing we're gonna be talking about is the FET calendar. Um, you'll be given a, set, a sample calendar like this when you come in for your consult. So you can kind of see how the dates are plotted out here or the times are plotted out here. So like it says here, we're gonna start your birth control pills about two weeks before the baseline, uh, just the active pills. Come in for a baseline usually on a Tuesday and we'll do a baseline ultrasound, blood work. Uh, then we'll have you stop your pills here. Uh, then we'll have you start estrogen pills um, on that Saturday. The next Friday we'll do an ultrasound and estrogen. We're checking your lining. We're checking your estrogen level. The next Friday we'll be checking your ultrasound. We'll do an estrogen. This time we also do a progesterone. Um, and then we'll be ready to do the frozen embryo transfer either on Thursday or Friday of the next week. Um, we will start progesterone, a steroid tablet, and a low-dose aspirin either on this Friday or Saturday, depending on when you're going to have your transfer. Okay, so think about some dates and, and kind of plug some of those in before you come to class so that when you get here, you've got a, an idea of when you might want to do this. That'll just make things go a little easier. Um, we'll also be giving you a calendar that looks like this, and it will have all your instructions, all your dates, everything plotted out for you all the way up to the pregnancy test. Um, before you leave um, the day of your class, we'll, we'll schedule all of those appointments and make sure you have all your time set up, including for the transfer. Um, the other thing is that we will be um, giving you medications. Like I said, we need to do a low-dose aspirin, estrogen, steroid tablets. Those can all be gotten at your local pharmacy. Uh, the progesterone injections or the progesterone and oil, we'll need to get those at a mail order pharmacy. So I will fax a prescription to you to them and they'll send it to your home. Um, the progesterone and oil, the injections are going to be in the hip here. So we are um, glad to draw circles here to help you uh, find the right area. And we can also talk about that more in class. Um, but I'd like to refer you to a video that we have on the Carolina Conceptions website where it goes over IM injections and step by step so that you can take a look at that before you come to class. Um, so pretty much we will we'll sign our consents. We'll do our calendar. We'll talk about medications. Um, answer any questions that you might have, um, and wrap it up. So um, we'll look forward to seeing you in FET class very soon. Thank you.